Today, we're diving into some groundbreaking news about Cardano and its potential to surge in value. With new partnerships blossoming and strategic moves in Argentina, could ADA be on its way to hitting the 75 cent mark or even higher? Stick around as we break down all the details you need to know. You won't want to miss this as we dive into the latest Cardano news today and break down the technical analysis of Cardano's ADA. Let's get into it. First, let's talk about the power of partnerships. Partnerships can make or break a cryptocurrency's growth trajectory. Cardano has been busy forming alliances that could significantly boost its adoption and use cases. But can these partnerships really propel ADA to new heights? Cardano's recent partnerships have been nothing short of impressive. Companies and institutions around the world are starting to see the potential of ADA. For instance, the collaboration with Chainlink for integrating oracles is a game changer, enhancing Cardano's smart contract capabilities. Then there's the partnership with the Ethiopian government to overhaul their educational system using blockchain technology. These moves not only boost Cardano's credibility, but also its real-world utility. Could this be the catalyst for ADA to surge to $0.75 cents or even $1? But wait, there's more. Cardano has just announced a strategic partnership with Argentina. How will this impact ADA's value and adoption in South America? Argentina, a country known for its dynamic economy and tech-savvy population, is now forming up or teaming up with Cardano. This partnership Partnership aims to drive blockchain adoption and leverage Cardano's technology to improve various sectors, from agriculture to finance. By integrating Cardano's blockchain into national projects, Argentina aims to enhance transparency and efficiency. This collaboration could serve as a blueprint for other nations, potentially leading to a widespread ADA adoption. It's not just a win for Argentina, but a significant boost for Cardano on the global stage. Now, you might be wondering, what does the market think about all these developments? And more importantly, what are the predictions for ADA's price in the coming months? Well, market sentiment around Cardano has seen pockets of bearish FUD in places. However, there is still a large bullish following for Cardano, especially with these strategic partnerships. Analysts are optimistic, with some predicting ADA could surge towards $0.75 cents or even $1 by the end of the year. Factors contributing to this optimism include Cardano's growing ecosystem, its commitment to decentralization, and the increasing number of use cases. However, it's crucial to remember that the crypto market is highly volatile. Always do your own research and consider your risk tolerance. Let's not forget about one of the most crucial elements of any cryptocurrency's success, its community. How is the Cardano community responding to all these partnerships and what role do they play in ADA's future? The Cardano community is one of the most vibrant and engaged in the crypto space. From developers to investors, everyone is excited about the recent partnerships and what they mean for ADA's future. Community-driven projects and initiatives are constantly emerging, further strengthening the ecosystem. This grassroots support is vital for Cardano's long-term success and could be a significant factor in driving ADA's value upwards. Cardano's recent partnerships, especially ones with Ethiopia and Argentina, position it in a formidable or as a formidable player in the crypto world. While the journey to 75 cents or one dollar would not be without any challenges, the foundation being built today is incredibly strong. As always, keep an eye on the market, stay informed, and make educated decisions. Let's now jump down into the charts for Cardano and I'll share my short to medium term Cardano price prediction. Okay, guys, so here we have Cardano paired up with USDT. We're on the one day Binance chart. And there's a few things I want to kind of get off my chest straight off the bat. First of all, I want to address these comments right here. These comments show a lack of understanding when it comes to the technical analysis that I'm doing on these charts that you see in front of you. These comments are basically not really appreciating the ideas of what I was conveying in the video. In the last video that I had on the technical analysis of Cardano, 
we were talking about the requirement for ADA to get a closed position above the 50 simple day moving average, the 50 day exponential moving average, and potentially above that 200 day exponential moving average. I said it was highly unlikely and that we were going to be breaking down. This video was created here on the 7th of June, and we can see that we did wick up higher than the 50 SMA, that's the yellow line, higher than the 50 EMA, that is the blue line, and lower than the 200 day EMA, the white line coming through here. And you can see that we did not close above any of these positions. This is rather unfortunate that there's a lot of people who do not understand the technical analysis. They jump on comment sections and they kind of say, you know, this video didn't age well, or the second that this video went live, the price just surged to the upside. You're wrong again, all that kind of nonsense. When the reality of the situation is that I wasn't wrong and had these people actually paid attention to the video and understood what I was saying, you would actually have potentially ended up very well off with a potential trade for shorting ADA during this particular volatility. Now, obviously, this is driven not just from Cardano's price predictions or price action in terms of the charts, but is also driven from a lot of the fundamental stuff that happens in the background. That is what the charts are actually tracking. There's no point in taking a look at Bitcoin um, or taking a look at the Dixie, the DXY, um, you know, separately when you actually all these things are interlinked together. For example, a move that you're tracking with Bitcoin is also being tracked in reverse on the Dixie chart, for example. So when a reversal is due, it's usually going to be driven from the Dixie reversing or something to that effect. And it's going to have some kind of uh, link back into kind of some of the fundamental things that are going on, maybe with the Federal Reserve and things like that. Now, in the case of Cardano here, this was quite an obvious rejection point because we were overbought. We were looking for a bit of a move to the upside potentially here, finding the resistances, as we have seen on the 50 SMA, 50 EMA, 200 EMA. And yet they all held up as resistance with no closed positions above any of those areas. Areas. The move to the upside was also driven from Bitcoin, which was also an expected move to the upside. Before that inevitable rug was pulled and we dropped right down, seeing $1.3 billion on liquidations and the open interest. Now, this is all pretty standard stuff if you follow and understand the technical analysis. If you don't, then of course, these are things that you're going to want to jump down into our free Discord and learn more about. Okay, because we can see here that we have broken down. But there are a few positives going on with Cardano here that's really important that we note because we are in this triangular base pattern and we still remain there. This looks like a breakdown based on how I have this drawn, but in the reality of the situation, we are not actually breaking down just yet. And instead, we might find another surge to the upside in the short to medium term. So here we can see on the 14th of May, we had a low of 42.6 cent. We also had a low on the 13th of May at 42.51. The most recent swing low on the 7th of June was at 42.53. This means that we actually haven't gone down into a new lower low. Instead, we have a new higher low here on the daily time frame, meaning that we're still trapped inside the triangle based pattern. OK, so it's possible that we actually now have a bit more of a run to the upside. Again, we're going to be targeting out, looking for closed positions above the 50 EMA, the 50 SMA and up towards that 200 EMA. Now, obviously, there's a lot of analysts that were predicting out 75 cent to a uh, dollar uh, in the coming kind of uh, weeks and months. I I do think that we're going to get there. I just think we have to move down a little bit further before we move on up. Obviously, I hope that isn't the case. And I really do want to see us break out of these kind of bearish patterns that we find ourselves in for Cardano. Unfortunately, we still remain in them. So until we kind of break out, uh, unfortunately, yeah, we still remain bearish for ADA at the moment. But that in itself is a huge opportunity. It's the opportunity to basically be dollar cost averaging and building out those positions rather than just kind of holding and kind of say, oh, Oh, my positions are down or Ada's dead, it's, it's not going anywhere. Actually using these opportunities to add more to your positions, to build out those positions so that when we do get those swings to the upside, which I do believe are inevitable in the longer term, that we're going to be in really strong, profitable positions. So you've got to take advantage of these, in my opinion. Now, obviously, I am no financial advisor. I cannot offer you financial advice. All I can do is share my thoughts and opinions on the data and the charts as I personally see it. If you do have access to a financial advisor, you should probably consult them as they'll know a lot more about your financial situation than I do. But as you can tell from everything going on from a fundamental standpoint when it comes to Cardano, 
all the way into the technicals, I do think we're in a fantastic position for great accumulation, great dollar cost averaging opportunities ahead of a fantastic bullish market in the coming months. You can let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you found today's video useful, smash that like button. And if you haven't checked this video out, I urge you guys to check out what's going on with Bitcoin and stay informed in the crypto space.